Welcome into Garnet and Gold Grub, presented by Tico People's Gas. I'm Katherine Phillips, alongside award-winning chef Travis Johnson. He's the executive culinary director of Seminole Dining here on the campus of Florida State, and he's going to walk us through a delicious tailgate recipe today. Chef, what do you have for us? Today we have a six cheese mac and cheese. Six cheese. Yes. All right. Because one's not enough. <laughs> and we're going to finish it with a lot of uh, fresh herbs and aromatics and uh, talk about how layering of the ingredients really makes the dish what it is, uh, from the smoked sausage that we chose the whole way through the different peppers that we chose. Okay. All right, well, let's start out. We're going to make our uh, sauce first. And so I have a large stock pot here on medium heat. And I'm going to start out with my fats. So in here I have equal parts half and half and equal parts uh, heavy cream. And as we're warming this up, we never want to bring the cream uh, to a boil, just always to a low simmer. And as this warms up, we're going to incorporate all the different cheeses. And so the cheeses we're using today, we have a pepper jack, a Monterey jack, Swiss, cheddar, borsin cheese. So what is borsin cheese? Borsin is a soft Italian cheese, and it's absolutely one of my favorite cheeses. It looks good. <laughs> it's great on anything. Okay. All right, we have a, a low simmer here, and now we want to start adding in the cheese. And I chose to use uh, slices today. You can also use um, shredded cheese. The slices just melt a little bit better for me as you're incorporating them in. It's always important to just put a little bit in at a time. And you're cooking on natural gas, so what's the advantage of that? I really like using natural gas because I can control the heat, especially for an application like this. If it gets too hot, uh, you can scorch this cheese pretty easily. So I have ultimate control. Like right now, I'm just turning it down a little bit. Uh, as the cheese continues to thicken and heat up. Now let's add the Borsin cheese. This is truly one of my favorites. If you haven't tried it yet, you have to give this a shot. Drop this in. All right, you can see how creamy this has gotten. What we're gonna do next is take this and set it on low and we'll start incorporating all the other ingredients, okay? Next, we're gonna grab a medium cast iron skillet. We're gonna fire this natural gas up on about a medium to medium high because we wanna get it nice and hot. This recipe is important because we don't incorporate a lot of salt in it, so we get a lot of flavor from the ingredients that we're working with. So the smoked sausage that we chose today was a uh, southern style andouille, which has a lot of your salt content and a lot of the flavor already in it, so you can limit the amount of salt you put in. Gotcha. We're gonna add this to the skillet. Next, we're gonna add in our onions, because our onions are gonna to need to cook just a little bit longer than the other ingredients. And as the onions cook, they're gonna caramelize and you're gonna get some of those good sugars and they're gonna turn more of a translucent color as you're cooking. So we'll let that cook for just about a minute or so. All right, now our onions have already cooked down. You can see how they're turning brown and a little translucent and giving off some of those good aromatics. Next, we're gonna go with the peppers. We're gonna start out with our bell peppers, our red and our green, because they're the most durable. These are gonna cook for about a minute, a minute and a half. And you can see they're starting to cook down. You start to see all the different colors and they're really starting to smell really good. Now I'm gonna turn that heat down from a medium high to about a medium, and we're gonna put in the rest of our peppers. So we have our jalapenos and our poblanos. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this uh, Cajun blend. And this spice you can find on the recipe link. It'll show you everything that's in here. All right, now that we've got everything cooked down to where we want, the next step is to incorporate our pasta. So we're gonna take our pasta, and I'm gonna turn the heat down on real low, because we want it to continue to be hot, but the pan, the cast iron pot's gonna hold a lot of residual heat. So now we have all those onions and peppers and sausage all be incorporated in with the pasta. It's smelling so good. Oh. Now our next step is to add our cheese sauce. So we'll stir that up. Remember we started out with that, that heavy cream. We added this uh, six different types of cheese in here. And just to finish that sauce off, I'm gonna add just a touch of sour cream. That sour cream is gonna help balance out the sauce and hold it consistent through baking. All right, that sauce looks good. Ooh, it smells wonderful. Let's go ahead and add that in. I'm gonna turn that heat off. That smells wonderful. 
right, now we're gonna take the last of our shredded cheese. We're just gonna fold this in, and we're gonna bake this in the oven. Now, everything is already hot, so when we put it in the oven, it's not gonna take very long, five to seven minutes or so, because all you're really gonna do is brown the cheese and caramelize the top, and it's all ready to go. All right. So let's get this in the oven. All right, let's check out the mac and cheese. Let's do it. Wow, that looks incredible. So good. That cooked for about five to seven minutes. Again, we were just melting the cheese and bringing everything together. So let's finish it off. We have some fresh herbs today. So we have a little bit of green onion and some fresh parsley. And these aromatics not only gonna make it look good, but add some extra flavor that we're looking for as okay. well. So what do you think we try it out? I'm ready. All right. Wow. The sausage is really good in there. That's good, and mm -hmm. the cheese is really melty. For full details on this recipe and more information on how you can incorporate natural gas at home, at your business, or at your next tailgating event, go to peoplesgas.com slash cooking.